And welcome back to the second game of a doubleheader here at Galilee Events Center, a.k.a. the Lions Den at UCCS in Colorado Springs, NCAA Division II Basketball. Welcome back. Congratulations once again to the women's team with a big win over Metro State just a little while ago. And as you saw, if you're just joining us or haven't seen and just joining us, Alex Welsh, his jersey was retired forever here at UCCS, former All-American basketball player. Had a chance to chat with him a little bit before this game, and I'll be interviewing him at halftime of the men's game. Welcome back. I'm George Holden, your voice for Matt Line Basketball, joined with my partner, Jerry Evans. And, Jerry, UCCS went on a nine-game winning streak earlier this season. The last couple of weeks, they've dropped some games on the road, and they are looking to get back to their winning ways, and it's a good start right here tonight. Well, they got a really uh, nice uh, turnout as far as uh, blackout, Absolutely. Uh, blackout night here at the UCCS uh, at the Gallagher Center. I'll tell you what, it, 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 the, the place feels electric. It feels like they're ready to go, and uh, I think this is going to be an outstanding contest. Both teams really are looking for a win, you know, because uh, uh, they're both struggling as far as the season records are concerned. So this is a big, big game for both teams. Uh, absolutely. Jeff Culver, his bunch for the Mountain Lions. UCCS right now, they're in seventh place in the RMAC. Nine and six in conference, 12 and nine overall. A little bit of a skid with the losses on the road last couple of weeks, but this is a talented ball club. They can bounce back. Metro State, they are six and nine in conference. They're having a rough go. Eight and 11 on the season. UCCS, they know the top four teams that finish in the RMAC have a chance to host. They were in line to do that just a couple of weeks ago. They had wind in their sails. They've been, they've kind of sputtered a little bit, but tonight, a great start, and tomorrow night against Shadron State, they can get back in the win column and make the push for the playoffs. And that's what their goal is going to be. I know that. Uh, they're going to play hard tonight. They're going to try and, you know, get the job done, and then, of course, when they have to go up against Shadron State tomorrow night, uh, those, I think these are big uh, two big key wins for them if they can uh, muster enough uh, to, to get the wins for uh, the, this program because I, I know it's just like the women's program. They want to be able to host. Right. And, and that's, that's huge. a real key ingredient, especially when you get in the playoffs. If you can host a game, yeah, that's just that much more in favor for yourself that you can do as far as winning down the road. Yep. Well said. UCCS, they, last game that they had, they're coming off a loss last week. Uh, losses on February 1st at New Mexico Highlands, 119-86. That was a rough go. February 2nd, Saturday night, they were at CSU just to hop, skip, and a jump south of here in Pueblo. They lose 86-78. to Right now, they're getting ready tonight on blackout night. The women's game won earlier. Can the men's game, can they pull off and they do a sweep here tonight? We'll see. Jeff Colvert and his bunch in the seventh season for UCCS. He's got a couple of All-Americans players here that banners up top, so he's got to be feeling good. But you look at Metro State on the, the other side of this, uh, Michael Ball, his second season, um, they're coming off uh, a loss as well. 64-62, uh, a two-point game, and we are underway officially here at the Lions Den. Metro State, they win the tip. George Holden along with Jerry Evans. And we'll get to the starting five and officials in just a moment. Mount Lions have got the talent to really make a deep run in the playoffs, but you got to take it one night at a time. Shot up, off, Elijah Ross, Boss Ross with the rebound down the floor. Mount Lions in their black, white, and gold trim. Metro State with the white, navy blue, and red trim. This is Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference basketball. Dalton Walker, Deadeye Dalton Walker, back up to Petit Wang. And he's had a strong season. Wang all by himself, and the feed from Ross to Benit Wang underneath, and they drop first blood. And he just did beat uh, Kendall McIntosh for Metro State, who was there to try to get the block, but uh, uh, the ball had already gone in. Metro State, starting five, Elijah Strouder, Kendall McIntosh, Drew Sasa, Garrett Carter, and Enrique Cortez Zotis. The starting five, and they're coached by Michael Ball. UCCS, they're starting five. Dalton Walker, Ian McDonald, Elijah Ross, Deron Clark out tonight, and Padit Wang, coached by Jeff Culver. Officials, Joel Myers, Eric Ivory, and Matt Rafferty. Long three, Metro off. Rebound, Padit Wang. This guy's got some hops down the floor, off the knee of a Metro State player. That's Garrett Carter. I'm not sure where he was trying to pass the ball because it didn't look like anybody was down the court uh, in order to retrieve it. So I'm not sure, but it, for, fortunately for him, it went off the, the Metro player and, and out of bounds. So uh, UCCS is able to bring it in. And a correction. I need to correct myself. Deron Clark is in. Saw him earlier. Wasn't sure if he was, but he is. He is starting. The product from Texas. Walker. 
to Ian McDonald. Back to Ross. Ross was injured earlier in the season. The wide open, and Ross with two assists early. Hits McDonald with the easy kiss off the glass. 4-0 Mountain Lions. Almost identical plays. <laughs> You got to be a versatile player. Sometimes you score and sometimes That's you right. assist. Whatever it takes to get the job done. Metro State yet to get on the board. Fought for underneath and it'll go Mountain Lion way. It looked like as uh, he was down on the court, uh, he kind of kicked the ball up. Uh, that was uh, Drew Asa for Metro State. Yeah, he was uh, sitting down and kind of kicked the ball up and that's what the official called. And Asa, he's out of Tracy, California. He's a West Coast kid. Elijah Ross bringing it down for UCCS. Good feed. Great look underneath. McDonald to Benit Wang. And they are clicking so far. 6-0 UCCS. Metro State calls a timeout to stop the bleeding. And I think it's going to be a very important timeout at this particular point. Even though it's early in the game, you got 18 minutes left in the first half. 6 nothing, and I think all three plays that uh, UCCS was able to score on were almost identical. I mean, they just had that little feed right into the right side of the of the bucket. And there, there's the layup, and all of a sudden you're ahead 6 to nothing. So Metro State's going to have to back up, regroup here, and see if they can come out and, and play a little bit better defense as far as making sure that that play doesn't happen again. And uh, you look back, a little bit of a flashback. January 26th at Metro State in Denver. Roadrunners, um, they got the win, 93-81. UCCS looking to bounce back. Like I said, they were on a monster win streak December and January. They go on the road the last couple of weeks. It's been tough, but they can get back in the win column with a start here tonight against Metro State. With the ball, it's Jackson. Shot up. Rebound, Ross. Don't let this size fool you, Ross. He plays a lot bigger than he is. Well, I like the way you termed him, Boss Ross, because he's the one that brings the ball down. He determines uh, how the play is going to be set up. So that's a very important role to have somebody who's good at that. Yep. And he's got swagger when he's on the floor. He's in control to McDonald. Ron Clark, the young player for UCCS, he's come up big. Ross outside. Booyah from big time outside. Ross with a big smile on his face. He's been there before. Nine, nothing, UCCS. Other end of the floor, Marcus Jefferson with the ball. Up top, wide open three. It's going to be short. That's Jared Taylor. And Ross will force the issue. Hits the floor. He'll go to the line. Check it in. Isaiah Show Me Wilson. Call him Show Me because he's from the state of Missouri, the Show Me State. And Blend of Dilly. This guy can bust it from outside. So you with him, if he had a twin, he'd be Dilly Dilly, right? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. 17-11 left in the first half. A lot of basketball to play. Glad you could join us here at the Lion's Den in Colorado Springs. Ross, first shot off the back of the rim. So Wilson and Abdilly check in, 33 and 25 for Metro State. That's uh, Jacob Inklen and Kendall McIntosh. And I love watching the backcourt of Ross and Wilson. They are speedy and quick. The old adage comes to play, agile, mobile, hostile with those two back there. All of a sudden it's a 10 point game uh, and Metro State just cannot get out of the blocks here and get a score. So they're going to have to do something to get that offense moving. UCCS looking to, oh, foul called on Metro State. So far, everything going UCCS way. They've got the momentum right now early in this game. But the trick is to keep it for two halves. Yeah, Kendall McIntosh is called uh, for pushing that elbow out. And, um, you know, he's the big man, six foot eight, out of Oakley, California. Petit Wang, he is just athletic. Up top, and McDonald right behind him, pulling the trailer, helping him out, gets the bucket. 12 nothing. He picked up uh, Wang up off the floor as well. Yep. He did it all that time. Yeoman's duty. Shot up, knocked away, rebound, pulled down by McIntosh. Oh, an offensive foul again by Metro State. Wow. 
Well, McIntosh is throwing that elbow out. And when you do that, I mean, that's that's an offensive foul. It's just that plain, pure, and simple. You can't throw it out. You can't hit that uh, other player and initiate that contact. It's and the same as if it was a full-fledged charge. As an official, that's something you want to call early, correct? Just so you can actually yeah, set the tone for that set game. Set the tone, exactly right. Uh, you don't want to have something like that happen you know, with, the, like, five minutes left in the fourth or in, there, in the case of college here with, in the second half. Ross inside. Wyatt Dolberry out of Bonham, Texas in now. Wilson to Ross. Shot clock at 13. Ross will set up shop and go back to work. Looking for the angle. And they're going to call the foul. And it'll go offensively on UCCS. So they're calling it both ways there. Yep. They're, they're, they're nailing that, that offensive, uh, you know, that push with the elbow. So if they're doing it on both sides and they're setting the tone, so both uh, both teams will now have to kind of use a little bit different philosophy as far as how they're going to approach their offensive scheme. Titus Reed checks in for Ross. He's out of Chatfield High School in Littleton, Colorado. Metro with the ball, and they have yet to get on the scoreboard. It's a bit of a drought for the Roadrunners. UCCS playing great defense. And a travel in the paint. And nothing going right for Metro State early in this game. Timeout again, Metro State. They're down 12-0 to the Mountain Lions of UCCS. We'll take a quick timeout as well. He's Jerry Evans. I'm George Holden, the voice of Mountain Lion basketball. You're watching and listening to NCAA Division II hoops and the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference in Colorado Springs. It's blackout night. Stick with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Gallagher Event Center. In Colorado Springs, a chilly night outside, but it's been hot in here tonight. Packed auditorium with the students. You can see all their t-shirts for blackout. Big night here. Both you and I got one, too. We did. We were, we were, we were part of it. So yes. we got a shirt. So we got something to take away from this and say, hey, man, I remember being there. I can wear it to work. Absolutely. Fifteen <laughs> forty, 15.54, I should say. It's just starting back. Welcome back. To action. It's been all Mountain Lions so far. Dominating the Roadrunners. They're shutting them out. Blend of Dilly inside to Dulberry. A lot of physical, aggressive play inside Dulberry with the fadeaway. That's off. Rebound. Pulled down by Metro State. That's number 11, Enrique Cortez Utes with the ball. And Garrett Carter tries to find something, but smothering defense by the Mountain Lions. The shot in and out, and they still can't get it to fall. Deron Clark. That's Van H Hennigan. And there's Central State. Blend of Dilly working for the shot. Gets knocked away underneath, but re regains it. And there is some shoving, and he's going to call that on Blend of Dilly. And Jeff Culver is almost at half court, pleading his case with one of the officials. Love watching Jeff Culver. He's an animated guy. And we said it before. If you're a great coach, you're a great salesman. That's right. He's right? over there. He's trying hey, to make, he's trying it's to not my guy. It's your guy. He's trying to close that sale right now. Right. He Metro went, State. He went from one official to the other one. <laughs> yep. So he's bartering. It shot up. It'll be a foul. Number two. That'll go against Titus Reed for UCCS. Just under 15 minutes to play in this first half. And it's 12-0. UCCS, they need to get back on the winning track, and they look good so far. Metro moving around. Inside, matched up on Blend of Dilly. That's Jaron Taylor. Taylor with the jumper. Off. Nope. And it's going to go against Metro State. 
So UCCS is stingy on defense thus far in this game, Jerry. This is just uh, totally <laughs> mind-boggling to think about. They've built up that 12 to nothing lead right here. 14-49 left in the first half. Uh, one has to wonder because it just seems like there's a lid on the bucket as far as Metro State is concerned. Even when they get in close, they're not able to drop the bucket. Yep. So they've got Metro State's got to find answers offensively. Deron Clark, pull-up shot off the rim. Ripped down by Jaron Taylor. And here comes Metro. Long three. In, out, and rebound again. So UCCS impressive on the boards. Blend of Dilly. In, out, oh, it was there. Just didn't get the, the bounce off the rim. Ed Boards-Burke will check in with Dalton Walker for UCCS. And a foul on Metro. That's either the third or fourth offensive foul so far. That's the third one against Metro State, and I got to kind of wonder. I mean, uh, I know they're they're calling it tight out there, but that's somewhat unusual to see that many offensive fouls called in the early going of a game. I know you're trying to set the tone, but uh, you kind of you think about well down low like that. Did he initiate the contact? Apparently, that's what the official saw. Yep. So here comes Isaiah Wilson, Dalton Walker. He is a streaky shooter when he gets lit. Good feed inside. Good look to Deron Clark. Back to Wilson. Wilson to Walker. Walker's going to pull up for three. Off the rim and a big rebound by Marcus Jefferson. And a whistle on the floor as Wilson hits the hardwood. And Pete Wang and Ross will check in for Reed and Wilson. Pete Wang, he's he is fun to watch. He's one of these guys that he's going full bore offense and defense. He's not a big guy as far as weight, but plays big, and he's got incredible vertical ability. Yeah, he looks like he's about 140 pounds sopping wet, but <laughs> he plays like he's 220. He's got wingspan. Um, he's a game changer for yeah. UCCS. Great student as well. So here we go. Ross, back in the game. The lefty to Petit Way. 12 nothing. It's been that way for a bit. UCCS not wanting to give anything up. Clark goes sliding with the attempted three. Rebound Metro State all by himself under the hoop. And he misses the easy layup. Truce Asa misses. And that was a gimme. That was. That's amazing. I don't know how in the world you can miss that. How many times you shoot those in your front yard or at, down at the playground? Underneath, wide open, just too much on it. UCCS has locked the door on Metro State, not even allowing him to get a bucket so far. Oh, what a great pass by Ross to Walker. Kaboom! From outside, Deadeye Dalton Walker buries it from three-point land. Yeah, the three-point bomb, that was excellent. And now 15 to nothing, unbelievable. Yep. And Metro State looking for answers, and their first bucket at 12.44 of the game. Garrett Carter finally hits a jumper for Metro State. Somebody had to. Yeah. I don't I didn't think you'd go scoreless. No. That's just sometimes you've got an off night individually or as a group. But UCCS is fine with that. But Eat Wang, Burke is trying to post up underneath. Ed boards Burke. Ross waving him back. Shot clock at six. Ross, the pull away jumper in, out. Walker tries to get it, and they're going to call the foul on Metro State. Yeah, that looks like that's uh, Drew, uh, Drew Sasa. Uh, apparently, he pushed off six foot four uh, junior out of Tracy, California. Apparently, he did the, the push off there, so UCCS will inbound the ball, and here comes a couple more substitutes. Burke comes out, McDonald replaces him for UCCS, and number zero, Marcus Jefferson out of Louis, Louisville, Texas, checks in for the Roadrunners of Metro State. One would think he might be the point guard at 5'11. Right. Boy, the game changes, right? But the, he, we were just talking to Alex Walsh before the game, and bigger, stronger, faster, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Dalton Walker, two for two. So give, give me the rock. Yep. Walker, again, great shooter for UCCS. He's showing his stuff off early. Metro State, they lead 17 to two. Driving inside Metro. Foul. That's going to go against UCCS. 
And a good call by the official as he was driving in there and contact was made. So uh, they're going to go to the free throw line as we have a timeout out on the court. Timeout, 11.51 left in the first half. Want to remind you that UCCS is part of an RMAC wide agreement with Stretch Internet as the designated streaming partner. All games are available for free that can be viewed on desktop, mobile devices, and the RMAC Network app channel through Roku, Apple TV, Android TV, and Amazon Fire TV. UCCS will also make select home games available on social media networks, including Facebook Live, Twitter via Periscope, and or YouTube. George Holden along with Jerry Evans and Jerry, that we did that first game with the uh, women's game. Congratulations to them. They win three in a row. They're they're still kind of vying for that middle spot in the RMAC and trying to get to the postseason. The men's game right now, so far, again, they go the last couple of weeks. They've had some tough losses on the road. They came back. Jeff Culver's got them ready because so far in this game, they've dominated. They really have. And I was watching Metro State in their pregame warm-ups. And uh, it looked like they were just, you know, really relaxed and they were ready to go, just wanted to get the game underway. And all of a sudden they've come out and, and they just have gone completely flat. And they're down 17 to 2. You look at that and you go, how in the world can it be like that? They've got good size. They've got good mobility. They're really, you know, strong going to the hoop. But even an open layup, they missed that one. So yep. something has gone terribly wrong for Metro State, and we'll see if they can come out of that. Otherwise, UCCS is going to have uh, pretty much a free night. Yep, that old saying comes back when you play or coach, focus and finish. Right now, UCCS is doing that. Metro State has yet to really find their rhythm and their groove at the free throw line. Metro State hits the first one, and that's Marcus Jefferson. Hey. Hey. Again, looking for answers. They got to climb back into this game. The old saying says when you need to get back into a game, put down the shovel and call for help. Stop digging. 17-3. Hits them both. They're going to need free throws in bunches. Jeff Culver and his staff have done a good job substituting so far in this game. Walker to the right wing to Ross. He's had some pretty good assists looking for the open guy tonight. McDonald working hard in the paint underneath, being covered well. Petit Wang with a nice spin move. <laughs> Petit Wang, a little bit of showtime. Underneath, gets the bucket, and he says, thank you, I'll go to the line. That was showtime, HBO and Cinemax all rolled into one on that one. I'll tell you what, that was a great spin move, and he was able to take it all the way, lay it up off the right side of the glass and in. That's one of those type plays you don't coach. No. That's just that's, in, that's instinct. Ability. Yeah, that's athletic ability. That was incredible. Yep. Confident player. He'll try to polish this off in the three-point play. Blend of Dilly, number 15, will check back in. Petit Wang misses. Rebound. Metro State. Asa. And they got their work cut out for him. A lot of basketball to play, but you got to start somewhere. He'll set it up. Goes to the left wing. Nothing there. Wilson, good defense. And this is a product of the coach. Michael Ball has said, let's slow it down. Let's see if we can set up a play. Long range three off. Attempted by Asa. All the way down to Petit Wang. Thought about it. Ross all by his lonesome. Off the rim. Rebound. Snatched by Strotter. Elijah Strotter. So Metro. Still haven't found their niche in this game. UCCS playing tough both ends of the floor. Shot up. And are they going to get Ross for the foul? It, they're going to get Elijah Ross for the foul. He was playing really good tight defense. Uh, just made the contact as the shot went up. So can't really argue that one. Nope. And Deron Clark, number three, he'll check in. He's out of San Antonio, Texas. He'll check in. Blend of Dilly will check back in. Ross and McDonald come out. And not suited tonight, Brandon Malone. He's usually a key player off the bench for them. A lot of times he, he starts as well. But he's got a hoodie on, so I'm not sure he's even going to get any minutes tonight. But Eat Wang. Maybe I'm bad luck with the injury I had. Causing some of the women and the men to... The walking just, wounded? Yeah. Well, this time of the season, you know that that's bound to happen. Yeah, that's the true. The amount of time these guys play, 
Something's bound to happen, and it basically turns into you want to go to postseason. How deep is your bench? Walker with the shot off. Rebound pulled down by Andrew Mork. He's from Sweden. So Metro State has struggled. Trying to put up some long shots. Good work underneath by big number 33, Jacob Inkland out of Tucson, Arizona. He'll draw a foul. But you got to find a way to generate opportunities and, and get points. And this is, a, this is a good place to start. It is. Uh, sometimes if you go to the free throw line, you hit a couple of free throws. That, that helps your, your cause, and it gives you a little bit more momentum and uh, you know some uh, confidence to go down and, and start making some shots from the outside or maybe even driving into the paint. Inkland, the shot is good. Jeff Culver talking to his guys from the sideline. I believe they went on a nine-game win streak. Hits them both. So slowly but surely, Metro State has gotten on the board, but they have had to work for everything they've gotten. Walker on the left wing, all the way across to Padi Wang. It was there, and just a little too much on it, but it was there. Long baseline shot. Metro State, nothing. Deron Clark. Underneath to Walker. Outside, blend of Dilly for three. Kaboom! Outside! Blend of Dilly. It was a great pass because uh, he was wide open. The pass was there and that uh, gave him enough time to focus and nail the three pointer. Yep. He's hit some monster shots this just this season that we've seen him. There's that moving screen. That's what the official just called out there. So uh UCCS taking uh, getting the benefit of that as well. Yep. So Titus Reed and Wyatt Dolberry check in for Petit Wang and Dalton Walker. Right now, Jeff Culver is continuing to look for that one-two punch yeah, out on really, the floor. Yeah, but uh, I think giving uh, Petit Wang certainly a rest at this particular point is, is, is very crucial because you're going to need him probably a little bit later on in this first half and, of course, in the second half as well. I would agree. Blend of Dilly. He'll pull up from three. Off the back of the rim. Good rebound by Deron Clark. Now Clark. Clark was able to drive in and kind of get the foul, but he did one of those things that coaches really don't like, and that is he took that dribble. He yep. got the rebound and took the dribble and went up. Instead of going right Instead up. Instead of going right up. You know, and that's one of the things coaches you always tell players. I know I always did. You know, don't take that dribble. I was <laughs> very bad about it because when I was playing, I always did that, you know. So I, I tried to preach it, and I'd say, don't do what I do. Please do what, what I don't do, you know. So, right. Uh, Easier said than done no, sometimes. No, it really is, you know. And that's probably what was going on in his head. He figured he had to get that dribble in order to put himself into position to make the bucket. Jerron Clark, he's a freshman. He's got a lot of time to grow and just improve. And it's going to go against Metro. Just to recap, seventh place right now in the RMAC UCCS, 9-6 and six conference, 12-9 and nine overall. Metro State, 11th, 6-9 in conference, 8-11 and 11 overall. UCCS, they're tied with Colorado Mesa and Dixie State right there. They're a game behind New Mexico Highlands and Black Hill State. They're still in position if they continue to win, Jerry. And you, here's the thing. You know this as well as I do. you got to continue to take care of business each night and hope the other guy loses. Yeah. <laughs> and it's really all it is. And then say, hey guys, we know if we get in the top four, we got a chance to host. If we can host a playoff game, get a win, who knows where we could, bo we could go. That could be a uh, uh, launching pad, if you will, like to the post right, in, yeah. into the postseason. Absolutely, and that's one of the things that's so it's so vitally important when you get down to playoff time. If you can get a game where you can host it, because that gives you the the momentum, gives you the confidence to move on, even if you have to travel. Yep, well said. Getting set to resume play. 901 left in the first half. Mount Lions with the ball. Goldberry is going to hand it off. Coming around, blend of Dilly. Of Dilly, way outside. That shot's off. Off the rim. Rebound. And that's Andrew Mork. It comes down with it. Here comes Metro State. Working for the shot. And it's pulled down of Dilly. Gets rips down the board. He's looking for help. Outside, all by his lonesome. Titus Reed. And Clark had a shot at it, but Metro State gets to it first. And 
Metro State looking to force the issue. Reed. Bad lines are out rebounding Metro State right now. It's Dilly. And they're going to get tied up, jump ball. And so number one will check in. That's Drews, Drews Asa. He'll check in for Jacob Inklin. And number four will get ready to check in. That's Elijah Strouder. He's out of Fresno, California. 6'7", 205. And an original starter of today's game, or tonight's yep. game. Yep. Loud Lions inbound, Wilson. He's a, he's a streaky player as well once he gets, he finds his groove. Gilly almost loses control. Good look inside to Dolberry at a travel on the Mountain Lions. So there's no reason, if you think about it, mental mistakes, there's no reason to shoot yourself in a foot when you've got a 23-7 lead. That's exactly right. It just seemed like that play was a disaster in, in, in play there. They just didn't seem to have any kind of focus on that particular play, and that's why they ultimately it ended in the travel. Yep. You saw Deron Clark come off to the ECC sideline, and Jeff Clark talking to him. I'm sorry, Jeff Culver. You know, you know as well as I do, when you got a young, first-year talented guy, you've got to get him to get in check with his mindset, man, and his emotions. It, he makes a bad play, it's okay. Move on to the next. Move on. Have a short memory. Move on to the next thing. Deron Clark's one of those guys that he wears his heart on his sleeve on the floor. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Now the officials call another offensive foul, uh, illegal screen once again, and it. it uh, I tell you what, uh, they're not letting these teams, either team, get away with anything. No. So if, if the, they see that illegal screen and that, that pick, uh, uh, they are definitely calling it. And uh, it's kind of uh, unusual to see that. But uh, I think they maybe have, you know, been doing some research and, and possibly in the past few games been made to realize, you know, there's a lot of offensive things going on out there. And if you're setting that illegal pick, we're going to nail you. Yep. And keep in mind, you've got a couple of double doses of basketball tonight. This men's game you're watching right here, but tomorrow night, Shadron State will be in the house. Women's game tips off at 5.30, men's game respectively at 7.30 again. So if you like college basketball, we got plenty of it here in Colorado Springs. Jerry Evans along with George Holden, your voice for Mountain Lion Basketball. And I'll tell you what right now as well. UCCS, like we said, that nine-game win streak, they lose... January 25th, they got a chance for payback. Tonight and tomorrow, it's pretty much Amir Evans just flip-flopped the teams. January 25th, they were at Shadron, lost that 90-75. And then the 26th, they were at Metro State, lose 81-93. They got a chance to get payback tonight and tomorrow night. And I know they're banking on that. <laughs> so we'll see how it all comes out. But uh, that's what you want to do is you do want to get revenge. Yep, you got you to play to the buzzer. You got to play, play two full halves. So far, so good for the Mountain Lions. Whistle on the floor. They're going to call it a foul on Dalton Walker, number 20, as he kind of smiles walking down the floor. He's like, yeah, you got me. That was me. Once again, another offensive foul. So that's going to have to be ironed out. Yeah, on both teams. Yep. Metro State on the left wing with the ball. That's Demetrius Jackson. 17 on the shot clock. Under 7.5 left in the first half of play. The Mount Lions have not made it easy. Nice shot by Garrett Carter. He got away with a uh, holding or, you know, holding on the ball too long, a palming. Yep. Uh, official just did not see it, I don't think. And Je Head coach Jeff Culver was up on that one. He was complaining about that. It's hard to believe the way the Mount Lions are playing tonight that they lost earlier, not too long ago, to Metro State. Right now, they mean business. Isaiah Wilson drives, knifes his way inside. And he's not able to get it, but he'll draw a foul. He'll go to the charity stripe. There you go. And, but it was a nice drive, and, and of course the ultimate result was either I'm going to get the bucket and a foul, or I'm going to I'm going to miss the bucket and get fouled no matter what uh, by taking it to the hole like that. Yep. And he is quick off the dribble. I was, you're going to remember this, but I've said this before. His style of play when he goes that crossover it reminds me of a guy named Tim Hardaway. Oh, yes. Go one and slash back the other way. He's, he kind of knifes back to the bucket. He kind of has that move a little bit. He had a nice pro career, didn't he? <laughs> he did. He, I think he did okay. Yeah, he did fine. 
You know, you know, you you know, you you're a pretty good player when your jersey number's one, <laughs> right? That's that's my number. Well, you already called him. Show me, right? He's show me, show me Wilson. He's showing us why he is. Metro State with the ball. Oh, some show. They're gonna call that. And that's gonna go on Dalton Walker. They're both guys were getting a little handsy there, but Walker gets called. And the officials out there talking to the players, kind of saying, you know, hey, let's just play basketball. Let's keep it clean out here. That's got to be a fine line when you've been a referee, basketball official, wanting guys to play hard, play tough and aggressive, but that fine line of not of not going over the line. Right. And they're giving him the one-on-one. -on -one. Obviously, uh, Metro in the bonus at this particular point. And he hits the first of the uh, two free throws available to him on that's, the one-on-one. -on -one. That's Cortez Zotes, the senior. He's out of Malaga, Spain. Wilson up, off balance. Clark's athletic enough to get it. Now Jeff Ball pleading his case with the official. They've had a they've had a rough go this season so far. Talking about the officials or <laughs> I'd say yeah, that's a good question. It's both. You know? No, I'm kidding. Metro State down by a bunch. 24-10. All the way to the corner. Shot clock at 15. Long three, Metro State in, out, rebound. Snatched by Jaron Taylor. They'll get another opportunity. Reset the shot clock. Very impressed with the defense out there for UCCS. They're causing them to have to shoot those long range jumpers. Yep. And the shot clock. Yep, good defense swarming by the Mountain Lions. They pounce. Here comes Deron Clark and company. Clark tries to get it, he does. Good feed inside if Dilly saw Clark pulling the trailer, cutting through, and gives him an opportunity and a good look. It was actually kind of the, the latter part of a give and go in the, old, the olden days.